Hello there, this is Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing some hologram work. So I'm going to show you guys, so I'm just eating some food at the same time, um, how to create a hologram, basically. So part one, we're going to be um, making the hologram that you can use in your films or whatever. And then part two, um, we're going to be adding it to um, our composition. So let's get started. So I want new composition. Um, duration, keep it as long as you want it to be, as long as you want the hologram to last for, um, animation wise. Um, and I'm just going to keep it to an 80p and then I'm just going to click OK. Then I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to pick a blue, a uh, light blue. Um, say, uh, let's bring this down a bit. So about that blue. And I'm just going to click OK. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on my rectangle tool and click rounded rectangle tool. And I'm just going to make a box like that in the middle of the screen. It doesn't have to be dead center because um, you're going to place this. We're going to put a green screen behind this and, and you can place this basically where you want. Okay. So we're going to open up our mask and I'm just going to bring the opacity down just a touch. Just so we can see it for now. Um, and then what we're going to do is basically I've downloaded, um, I'm just going to go to the import, um, a few PNG files off the internet. Um, now you can get get these anywhere basically, you know, just look, you know, I've just picked out three that look alright to me. Um, and basically these are the ones I'm going to use. So um, you can basically place these anywhere onto your uh, picture. Um, and let's just undo that um, get this one and maybe place this say here and this one maybe place this here and I just play around with the scale of it basically um, make it the size you want a lot of people do sort of like holograms sort of differently do you know what I mean you know I don't really mind um, there's so so many ways um, you can do them. Um, so basically, you can even sort of add your own text. So I can put in here, for instance, uh, CB uh, Animation Studios. Like so. And then I can just make that bold. Bold. Um, maybe change the color to say a light blue based on taste really guys you know you can have it how you want Let's just rechange my color um, you know if you want it to sort of match what you can do is just get your dabber and if just dab inside yeah maybe change this to a bold I'd say so like that that do for now do you know what I mean it's nothing serious you know we're just gonna maybe scale the writing down just a touch and just put that into position here now um, what we're going to do is basically I want to open up my text my um, transform and I'm just going to bring the opacity down just a bit just to give it that sort of see-through look um, and what I'm going to do is I want to do the same uh, with me others so let's bring the opacity down just a bit like so the hologram covers Break down just a touch and finally big logo Break down just a touch like so okay that's looking not too bad right now what we're going to do is we're going to make each of these layers all of them 3d okay because we want to be able to do some bits with them to make them cool so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my holographic and basically I want to spin it on my Y rotation. So I'm just going to click a position now. I'm just going to bring it forward and I'm just going to spin it around like so. Like so. so it's like that basically. Let's close that. 
maybe get my text and basically check how you want to move it to start off with um, so let's just have a look might bring that round on the Y as well uh, not down just pl basically playing around with it basically so that'd be okay so let's close that and let's go to the hologram one and we're gonna maybe spin that around no that's not the one we want what div that's the one we want we've already done that one Carlo let's have a look okay so let's hit the stopwatch here bring it to the end and spin that around that way maybe stops all there okay so you know it, it's based on taste really so we've got sort of like that sort of spinning and that's going to do now for the purpose of this tutorial so now we're going to come down to our mask and basically I'm going to bring the opacity all the way down on that so we've got basically see through when you put have a background wherever you put the background it's going to see straight through it okay now what we need to do is we need to get each one of these pit wicks and we need to parent it with the background with the with the, the mask every single one okay and what that's going to allow you to do so if we make that 3D is when we get our orbit tool as you can see we can move around in 3D space and obviously we've got that 3D sort of element but when you sort of put it there like at an angle and then you sort of round preview it as you can see the hologram actually moves and it's quite effective right so okay so now we've done that let's just um, sort of put that sort of somewhere right so um, and what else well, I've downloaded um, or I've just saved uh, basically a green screen picture um, from the internet as well another one it's not a very large file um, you can download all of these from the internet guys just look it up in your um, in your uh, image images on Google and I'm just gonna basically drop that on top like so and I'm just gonna scale that up to fit the whole screen like so and basically um, I'm just gonna green screen this so you can actually put it at the bottom so it's sort of ready to go um, or you can put it at the top so it's ready to green screen so uh, now when I play this as you can see you can place this because this is a 3d image you can place this at any angle you want so just basically um, for peace of mind um, we can even scale this up you know we can scale this any size sort of like we want you know what I mean uh, let's just let's mask like that so uh, for instance example let's um, I don't know let's get a phone Let's type in phone and let's just get some images. This is just a rough idea. Um, so basically, uh, just get this shitty iPhone, I suppose. Save image and let's just save that. And we're going to drag this in like that, wherever that's gone. Right, so it's here. And let's just drop that just below there for now. So, uh, green screen, right click. Um, effects um, let's go to keying key light and let's get our dab up and go push. okay so we've got our phone right there uh, but it's in sort of like the wrong sort of position so we sort of think you need to sort of bring it here let's just scale this up right so the worst example of a phone we've downloaded and just drop it like that now we need to do one more thing okay um, apart from these two we need to basically highlight all these and we need to pre-compose it into one comp and click OK so basically no matter what we do to that now 
um, we can basically scale it up to whatever we want to it now it's not going to basically uh, mess up so we can sort of my god I c I've got to remove this phone background Jesus Christ let's get another one fuck it now that was bad bad resolution Carlo uh, I don't know what example to give you because I've sort of not prepped let's get this Nokia all right uh, let's just download the save image um, so this is just going to give you a rough idea guys of what sort of effect you're looking at but obviously part two um, we're going to be uh, doing it proper you know adding it to a composition so let's just drop this behind um, maybe scale this down like so and just play around with basically the rotation of our hologram so or we could even create a new camera great new actually no we don't let's just make that 3d layer let's make our our thing a 3d layer right okay so that's better right so we could sort of have this and we could sort of tilt it sort of any way we want like for instance like that um, bring this sort of say for instance here do you know what I mean um, maybe bring the opacity down of the phone so we can sort of see it and then what we have is let's just play it back we have a hologram template so um, basically there should be um, light coming out of the bottom um, I will show you that in the next tutorial um, but as you can see it doesn't look too bad do you know what I mean it looks pretty cool and you can sort of uh, place put this in position let's go to our pre-comp um, let's just rotate that round what you can do actually is if you if you close this and create a new null object okay like so and then parent it to your pre-comp like so um, when you open your null object yeah you're going to have more freedom um, to sort of move. Uh, sorry, let me just pair it now. My pre comp. Let's just. Right, so. You're going to have more oh, freedom um, to move your thing around. So let's just reattach that pre comp to the null. And you're gonna have a hell of a lot more freedom like like that it's gonna be a lot more smoother so as you can see if we hide our mask like so got a nice little hologram which is pretty pretty cool as you can see obviously yeah uh, you know there's gonna be color correction but what you can do is if I go to my pre-comp right click come up to effects stylize um, and then just click on glue um, we've got a glow threshold here now what you can do with that is you can play around with your glow just to give it that sort of you know sort of futuristic look do you know what I mean you know just to sort of you know you could bring it all the way up like that and you could bring this up like so around the edges and just bring the intensity up and color it like like that and that just gives it let's bring this down a bit just gives it an element of a really nice sort of hologram which is pretty pretty cool so, as you can see like so we've got a nice hologram which is fully 3d So guys, as always, thanks for listening. Keep tuned for part two. Uh, what we're going to be doing with that is adding this to a 3D scene. Uh, a proper proper uh, a video scene. <coughs> so don't forget to hit that like button, guys. Please subscribe. It means the world to me. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.